All right, today's notes are gonna be on macromolecules. Remember, you can speed up, pause, mute this video, anything you'd like to do. We're gonna start off with macromolecules by talking about atoms and molecules and working our way up to macromolecules. Just to give you a sneak peek, you will need this much space in your notes. So save the top 10 lines for a table we're going to make about macromolecules. Remember to save your left-hand margin for questions you think might come up on a quiz, most important facts, things like that, and about the bottom five lines for a summary, as per all Cornell notes in your notebook. All right, now we're gonna slow it down. I'm gonna talk you through this, but of course, if you wanna just speed through and look at this complete pyramid again, go for it. The first thing we're gonna talk about are subatomic particles. Remember, we're building up in order from the smallest um, particle we're going to talk about to atoms to molecules all the way up to macromolecules. So there are three subatomic particles. There are protons, neutrons, and electrons. Remember that you can speed up, slow down, and pause at any point in time. Protons are positive, and they define the atom. Neutrons have no charge, and they provide stability for the nucleus. Electrons are negatively charged, and they balance the charge from the protons. Those are subatomic particles. Atoms are a combination of subatomic particles. Protons always must equal electrons in a neutral atom. We won't talk about ions very much in biology for our intents and purposes. Protons equal electrons. Protons plus neutrons are what make up the nucleus. And electrons move around the outside of the nucleus in what is called an electron cloud. We can't actually know the exact location of an electron without altering the electron. And so we just know there is an electron cloud. We'll talk about electron shells when we talk about Lewis structures. So for this particular notes, blue will be protons, green will be neutrons, and red will be electrons. So here is an atom that has six protons, seven neutrons, and six electrons. Looking at your periodic table, you should be able to tell me which element this is. Because it has six protons, it must be the element carbon. Whichever atomic number the element has, that's the same as its number of protons. So if you're looking at your periodic table, aluminum has 13 protons because it is element 13. Calcium has 20 protons because it is element 20. If you removed a proton from calcium, it would no longer be calcium, it would be potassium, K because potassium has 19 protons. Next up, we'll talk about molecules. Molecules are a combination of atoms. Bonds form using the outer shell electrons. The outer shell electrons can be found on the periodic table. And you can draw these bonds using something called Lewis structures. Um, come in for a more in-depth look at Lewis structures. I can also link notes to Lewis structures um, on NEO. And finally, when molecules combine together, you get macromolecules. There are four types of macromolecules. Lipids, carbohydrates, proteins, and nucleic acids. We're going to be doing a station activity involving macromolecules on September 24th. So you will get a more in-depth look at macromolecules starting with that. Uh, come in if you have any questions. Remember to outline the most important things and potential test questions along the left-hand side of your paper and give me a three to four sentence summary of the notes along the bottom of your paper. Come in if you have any questions.